I subscribe to you for makeup and here you are cooking fucking spaghetti. Big fat food shop. Obviously my Hoovers. <laughs> Guess who's back? guys welcome back to my channel happy new year welcome to 2022 i'm saying it now i really like have good vibes for this year i want there to be good vibes this year it i don't even want to say it out loud but after the last two years we had third time lucky please but i wanted to kickstart you know my first video of 2022 i wanted it to be a productive one i wanted this to kind of be my mindset from the offset and throughout if you know you know uh, for the rest of the year i just want to get my shit together this year all right i'm 25 all right not that there's any specific age or pressure that you should put on yourself to like have shit together by I just like got into my head like, right, okay. I feel like I'm always saying, you know, this is it. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that. And I have been doing this and doing that, but I just wanna elevate this year. I really wanna do it. I don't want this to be another year where, you know, I I'm just kind of like content. I wanna like thrive, you know what I mean? Um, this is just me, by the way, thinking out loud. I did want to share with you a few of my 2022 goals. Um, it's always in the back of my mind about uh, being super comfortable with my body. That's always like one. I feel like that's everyone's every, well, not everyone's, but a lot of people's New Year's resolutions just to like be healthier, get into a better shape. That's definitely me. I'm not going to put pressure on myself to be a certain size. I have a holiday booked uh, in... July, I think already, it's my friend's uh, 40th birthday. She made me buy, <laughs> she told me to get my plane tickets on the Boxing Day sales. Guys, I got two business class flights and one there, one back to Mexico for like 2,000 pounds, which is, is amazing like i would norm not normally do that but considering my friend had already got her tickets not in the boxing day sale and she'd spent like four grand on them and it was only one way of hers being business class i was like mm, i'm sold but i feel like knowing that that's already booked and like fingers crossed it goes ahead it's giving me a little bit of a kick up the ass of like a date to work towards which i didn't have last year last year was so like no one knew we could travel and if we did it was all very last minute um or was that the year before? Guys, I've got no idea anymore. Like, what? <laughs> where did the past two years go? Some other 2022 goals that I've got. I feel like I've obviously got, like, personal goals in terms of, like, growth. I obviously want to elevate the podcast, um, which loads of you have been like, is it cancelled? No. You obviously don't keep up with me. I said over Christmas it was just so busy, and because my podcast is very interview-based, I know a lot of the guests that I wanted were probably going to be busy over the Christmas period and I'm so glad that I did pause it because so many people were ill with the whole like outbreak over the Christmas period it just yeah I didn't want to put pressure on myself and it gave me time to go through your dms and see what you guys want from the podcast and I'm um, fingers crossed like I get the people who I want on and um, I've just got to reach out to them it's all going to be a part I need to like write it all down and plan which is another thing that I'm going to be doing in this video. Um, I want to go on a bit of a shopping trip and just get some things that... I, I'm one of those basic bitches. Like, if I bought new gym stuff, I'd be motivated to go to the gym. Do you know what I mean? A lot more than if I hadn't bought stuff. I'm not buying new gym stuff. That's not what I'm talking about. But I am one of those kind of people. And I just told myself I want to go to town and, like, try and find a journal and get some nice pens because... I'm starting to sort of see a lot of people talk about the benefits of journaling and like writing things down. And I love writing things down. If you see my TikToks and stuff, like I'm obsessed with lists. My shopping food list, is, like I, I like to write things down. I'm a very visual person. So I actually think I would benefit from journaling and writing things down. So I wanna like get a cute journal and some cute pens to like keep me motivated with that. Um, and then obviously I'm gonna plan the podcast like within that journal i think hopefully there's there'll be a page for that um what else was there oh yeah just little like mini personal things 
I want to try and read more books. Like, it's actually quite embarrassing. I like, I read things out loud and my ability to read has definitely decreased since school. <laughs> and I think it would be good for me to just like set some time aside to read and not be on my phone and count that as reading just because I've read like an article or like something like that. So I've got like a couple of books. I've got loads of books. Like I've been gi given books, I've bought books. I just now need to read the books. And I feel like it's nice to like, in social situations, come and like talk about a book that you've just read and like recommend it to other people. Cause nine times out of 10, other people love, but I love book recommendations, even though I don't always read them. I love being told about a good book and yeah, being excited to read it. So that's another one. So obviously Body in Check by Holiday is one. Elevate the podcast is too. Obviously just growth in general on social media platforms like podcast, Instagram, YouTube. Guys, I had this weird thing that I really wanna like take TikTok like a little bit more seriously. I think I could do it, but it's just about doing a what on TikTok. Like what could I do? What's new? What hasn't been done? What would I be good at? because a part of me wants to just <laughs> speak my thoughts. And I think I might do that on my main page, just like my random videos, yeah, that kind of thing. But then another part of me wants to like create a separate account. And I really wanna do cooking videos on TikTok, like little short cooking things. Cause that's another one of my resolutions is to cook more. And again, on this little shopping thing I'm, I'm planning to go on, I wanna get, maybe some new knives. My dad got my mum some really uh, like professional cooking knives for Christmas and I was watching her use them. And I was just like, wow, knives just make such a difference. And even my mum was like, there's nothing worse than shit knives in the kitchen when you're cooking. And I was even thinking like, maybe I wanna go to like a cookery class or something just like once a week, learn new recipes, meet new people. You know, I'd love to be able to, or like maybe, Again, I want this on my notes to like look for on this little shopping trip I plan to go on. Just like a recipe book and like challenge myself. Okay, once or twice a week, I'm gonna cook myself something from this recipe book, something new, something I wouldn't normally do. Um, am I gonna do that today? Today's Monday. <gasps> yes, okay, but this recipe I actually got from TikTok. But again, this is why I love cooking videos on TikTok. I just think they're so... They motivate me. I'm, I am on food TikTok right now and I love it. So what kind of cooking videos do you like on TikTok, if any? Like what format? Do you like it when people don't speak? Do you like it when people speak as they're doing it? Do you like it when people voice over it? Like what's the vibe when it comes to cooking videos? I feel like it depends on the person. So if it was me, what would you like me to do? If I was to do like little cooking videos on TikTok, because I do them on YouTube, but then I, I always get those comments being like, what even is your YouTube channel at this point? Like, I subscribe to you for makeup and here you are cooking fucking spaghetti. And I'm like, you're right. <laughs> so I feel like I need a platform for like each of my like interests, you know, each of my hobbies, even though YouTube is like my heart and home and like I kind of do everything on here. I feel like I've been rambling for about 10 minutes. Have I even like sort of said what, this video is gonna be. I feel like it's pretty obvious from the title. It always is. I don't know why I feel the need to explain the title. It's because I've not vlogged in a while, you guys. I had a break over Christmas and I've forgotten how you do it. All right, we're just having a catch up, a 10 minute catch up. So that's another one of my New Year's kind of like goals and resolutions is definitely to experiment with cooking more, um, just try new recipes, that kind of thing. Maybe a cooking class as something for me to do like once a week in the evening or something, you know? So what have I said? Obviously, body goals in check. Motivation for Mexico. Elevate my socials, and in particular, the podcast. Get back to it. Get the people on that I want. Let's manifest it now. Um, I want to journal. And I feel like a lot of people are getting into journaling. If that does not appeal to you at all, that's fine. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, don't think, oh my God, all these <laughs> bitches are journaling. Like, I should be doing that. No, you shouldn't. Just do whatever you want. All right, we've had a, a, a tough couple of two years. Whatever you need to do to be your most happy and content self, that could be going to bed at 4 a.m. and waking up at 2 p.m. 
fine. Don't let these early rising bitches tell you that you're doing it wrong. Do you know what I mean? Um, I've just learned to, yeah. If there's anything that I've learned, it's just don't put pressure on yourself because you just end up crumbling anyway. Just learn to accept who you are and the things that you like to do um, and go with that. See, like, but I like to write things down. So I think journaling would be a good resolution for me. And I'll just want to see if I see the benefits from it, you know? So that's another one. Uh, what else did I say? Journaling, cooking. Yeah, this is why I need to go out and buy this bloody notebook and stuff. I need to write these goals down. But essentially that is what this video is gonna be about. We're gonna spend uh, probably like two days together being productive. Um, first thing on my list actually is to go to the gym this morning. Uh, that is not new, I've not like just signed up. Although it's a bank holiday. <gasps> Are they even open? It's bank holiday Monday today. It's it's Monday the 3rd. And this is why I've waited this long to like do a YouTube video because I would have done this on like New Year's Day. But New Year's Day was a Saturday, all right? They fucked us with that. Because who wants to like start their new week on a Saturday? I was obviously going to wait until Monday to get my shit together. Anyway, um, let me Google it. Is my gym open today? Surely it should be. It's one of those gyms where there's like not really any staff. It's just a 24 hour, like whatever. Um, oh, brand new class timeline goes live 10th of January. Maybe I'll do some gym classes. But I feel like they're better with people to just rock up to a class on your own. Because what if no one was at that class and it was just you and the instructor? Sounds like a PT session to me. But I do have my PT sessions. Um, to view Christmas opening times, check inside your gym. Okay, I am. Today, apparently there's 40 people there already. So it's open. Um, so I'm gonna go to the gym. I, over Christmas, have been re-watching all of the Harry Potter films. So I'm gonna watch, I have watched all of the Harry Potter films before you guys, before you, someone suddenly goes, <gasps> you have not watched any of the, shh. Yes, I have. We just got Harry Potter Trivial Pursuit for Christmas and I realised that I like can't remember like what's happened in the films or like names of people and stuff and it was making me really want to rewatch them all and brush up on my knowledge so when I play that game again I will win. I'm very competitive. Um, but yeah, so I feel like having something to watch while you're at the gym is good especially because I really love the 12, 3, 30 um, incline walk thingamabob. I like to do that and especially because I've not been to the gym in a while. I think that's a nice easy, you know, transition into the gym. Uh, just to walk, watch Harry Potter and then I'll get off and do like a couple of circuits. How much I'm going to be able to film with that? I'm not sure. I'll assess the situation when I'm at the gym but it will obviously probably be on my phone. So that's what we're going to do first. I'm going to have a coffee first. Um, what else have we got? Oh, it obviously wasn't going to be a first video back. If we didn't go to Tesco, duh, I know you guys love it. Um, so we're gonna be going to Tesco. My food list is actually, look what's on my list. Look, it all down to the bottom. And all because I'd seen like TikTok recipes that I wanted to try. Oh, that reminds me. I wanna do salmon, broccoli, and the avocado pesto pasta. I found on TikTok, I will show you the recipe and the girl that I got it from uh, when I cook. I can include these in today's video if you wanna see it. But I think I wanna do like a cooking video in a couple of weeks, cause both of these are from TikTok. They're things that I've like seen and learned and that I wanna cook. So maybe instead, like I've never cooked them before. So today might be my practice. And if I like them and wanna share them, I can include them in a video. Um, it was a Thai chicken salad. It's got like peanut, like dressing, I really wanna get into dressings, guys. How fun it would it be if I could just like whip up a dressing and everyone's like, where did you learn that? And it's just like, I don't know. I came up with it myself. But like, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, it's like a Thai chicken salad. It's like, like blended up chicken, red cabbage. Um, what else was in it? Kale. Um, this peanut dressing, ses like that kind of thing, which I actually really, really love. So I'm gonna have that for lunch. And then for dinner, yeah, I've got like a leftover salmon fillet and some broccoli. But then I saw last night, this girl made this avocado pesto pasta, which I think is amazing because I can't really eat regular pesto. I'm a little bit hit and miss with it. I I'm not sure, because 
Pine nuts, I know, are technically seeds, but cashews, which is usually in pesto, I don't know. I've never actually eaten one to know if I'm allergic to that. I'm allergic to nuts, by the way, guys. And I know I just said that in that Thai chicken salad, there's gonna be peanut dressing. I'm not allergic to peanuts. It's random, I know. I think I have a tree nut allergy and peanuts are legumes and they come from the ground. And I feel like a lot of people are actually opposite and have the like severe reactions to ground nuts. So mine's vice versa. But yeah, so then we're gonna go to Tesco's after the gym to get all of the food bits. I'm gonna cook some lunch. And then we've got some tidying to do. I had a very productive day. Yeah, I can't believe this is still the intro and it's 15 minutes in. I am so sorry. I'm sorry. We will get to it in a minute. After lunch, I've got some like admin bits to do. Like I've let, like, I know it's bank holiday and no one's gonna be in the office, but for me, it's just a Monday and I need to get these things done. I need to message my accountant. I just need to book in hair and nails before they get booked up in the new year. Like, I think I want short nails for a little while. Um, so yeah, just need to message my people for that. I, they're just like little things I need to get done, you know, uh, before everyone comes back into the, into work tomorrow and I'm back into work mode and I forget to do these things. And then we've got some clearing up to do, okay? Because I think I'm gonna do shopping on the Tuesday because everyone will be back at work and not in the shops. <laughs> and I'm so excited. I wanna go to self just cause I need to return something. Um, and I've seen that they've got this brand called Truff in, which is like truffle stuff. Um, so I wanna have a look at that. Um, I wanna go to H&M Home and I wanna go to John Lewis. I don't know if it's cause I'm getting older guys, but I love John Lewis, which is again, why I wanna go through the cover that I'm gonna show you that we're gonna do it together. Um, because I've just got loads of old like towels and sheets that will sit, I've got king size bed now and I'm pretty sure 90% of the sheets in there I like double sheets. So I'm like, I don't really need them. Um, well, I definitely don't need all of them. I'm pretty sure some are stained with fake tan. I've got loads of old just like towels and I think it's time to just refresh my towels. You know, um, it's been a while. Um, and just, yeah, go through the shelves because I'm pretty sure the shelving unit that I've got in that cupboard is about to collapse. Yeah, so I just want to take everything off, maybe fix the shelf, tidy it, organize it. And I felt like you guys would appreciate that. Um, so we can do that together. I did do my kitchen yesterday and I can show you a little bit of that later as well because I'm obsessed with the organizing that I did yesterday. I've really got some shit done. Um, but yeah, I also in John Lewis towels, maybe some new sheets. Um, I want to get a salad bowl and some salad spoons, you know. Um, I want to look and see if they've got any cookbooks or maybe if there's actually like a book store in uh, the Trafford Centre, I will look there. Um, I want to see if they've got any whisks or like blenders. I've got my Nutribullet, but I feel like I want like a food processing blender type thing. Um, and some knives and yeah, and see if maybe they have a journal or some pens or if there's a stationery shop there. I wanna do that. So that's gonna to be tomorrow. Although by the, I've literally been chatting for 20 minutes. This video is gonna be so fucking long. It's my first video back. So I feel like you guys deserve a long video anyway. But without further ado, I'm gonna get the day started. Um, have a coffee. I'll shut up now. Let's actually do something, okay? And this is your sign to do something too. How cute are these little espresso uh, cups and saucers? My sister got this for me from John Lewis. And don't judge me on this, okay? But I'm still trying to perfect the way that me and Hannah had our espressos in Paris. And just on its own, it's a little bit too strong for me. Um, and I had a lot of these. They're basically like coffee creamers. And this is in the flavor vanilla caramel. And this, in this, chef's kiss that's another thing i think i want i'm gonna add that to my list an espresso spoon because this is ridiculous cheers oh my god yum right gym fit and tesco fit ready 
48, 49, 2022 influencers brands. We are standing 48, 49. Sid, the quality of this always blows my mind. Big things for you in 2022. I can feel it. I can feel it. Plus, I love these like canvas totes to carry my shopping in. They are so much like more supportive and comfortable than, you know, other bags for life, if that makes sense. But yes. Ready for the gym, ready to walk, and ready to watch Harry Potter. See, it's always good to like have something to like look forward to, and also pick a movie that you really want to focus on, because I watch it on my phone, which means I can't be distracted on my like by my phone, and I'm literally just on the treadmill walking, so like I've got to focus. Um, so Harry Potter is a good shout, but yeah, I'm gonna leave my camera at home, um, or maybe I'll bring it for Tesco's. I feel like it's a bit bait when you bring a camera into Tesco's. I'll just do it on my phone. So it's about to get a little bit less high quality, but I think that's for the best because I'm not looking too shabby. Right guys, back in the car. Um, that was such a good little like first workout. I don't want to go too hard because then I feel like I'll wake up tomorrow too tired and won't want to go again. Um, can't recommend enough watching a movie while you're doing that. Um, well, it's technically like 3, 12, 30, as in incline 12, speed 3 um, for 30 minutes. I actually did speed 4, and I think I did speed 4 on incline 12.5 for 45 minutes and i burned 300 well supposedly 365 calories and i was like that's such a like a nice number to stop there because you know it's the first workout of the new year there's 365 days in a year and this was the first of many i don't know i've just made that association in my head and i'm really annoyed at myself i left it quite late to go to the gym i feel like the best times to go to the gym are at like nine because you've just missed the rush of people going in like before work um, or sort of late at night or in the middle of the afternoon. I sort of, I went at like half 11. It is a bank holiday today as well. So it's all, it was always going to be like a bit busy. But I know some people do actually like work today, like um, retail or like hospitality type thing. Um, so by the time I'd finished my workout, it was 12.30, which is like lunchtime. People are on their breaks. I was going to do like some floor workouts, like some maybe like leg stuff or glute stuff or like some arm weighted stuff. It, it was rammed, like no sort of space where I wanted to work out and I'm not quite confident enough yet to work out um, in like the male dominated weighted area. Like I, it just wasn't what I wanted to do today. Not on my first workout back anyway. I will build up the confidence to go there one day, but not today. And also I really needed the loo, so I stopped. <laughs> Um, but yes, we are now off to Tesco to do a big fat food shop. And I'm so excited because that means I'm going to come home and cook something new and fun. Um, but yeah, that was like a good workout. And like I said, watching a movie while you do it, it literally went like that. I'm back. What is, I just, you know, you've just got like so many ingredients to get and it was just such a... Why do I love going to Tesco so much? Oh my God, look at the difference. It's because I wash my hands too much. Anyway, right. I managed to get everything except, do you know what they were really short on? Kitchen roll. It was like, you know, when everyone went nuts for loo roll, like there was no kitchen roll, like at all. I, I got like a really random brand. It was the only two pack they had left. Everything else was like all these bulk, bulk ones. But anyway, it was successful nonetheless. So, I know you guys love it when I need to see this. Let me give you a little Tesco haul. I got some asparagus. Yum. I got some mango because I am going to make prawn tacos for lunch tomorrow. Um, and I, well, me, Mads, and Han, when we had a Mexican night once, made this really simple, like, mango salsa. It's literally mango and red onions, which is... And then a bit of tahini. And that with like prawns, bit of coriander, some feta, like, um, oh my God, I'm literally salvating people with that. So yeah, I got some mango. Turkey bacon. That's the one thing I struggle for ideas for is breakfast. I don't always want breakfast, but when I do, I'm always like, you know, like what, 
what's good like what can i have that's like high in protein especially if it's like before the gym or something like that you know what i mean and i actually really love turkey bacon um spring onions which in america they're green onions and i'm thinking that makes sense because they are green like why do we call them spring onions interesting got some cream needed to get some olive oil i got some organic extra virgin olive oil i really love that brand um feta for the tacos peanut butter for this thai chicken salad i'm gonna make so i'm gonna leave that out because i'm gonna be using that in a second <laughs> i got a mrs hinch candle i really like these big candles also by the way guys um i i do this all the time uh it's like my yearly maybe sometimes quarterly life revamp that i like to do um I'm getting some new furniture because I just want to switch things up and make things look a little bit better and be a little bit more like organized and like change up my space a little bit, which I think is good to do. Like I just sell like all my old furniture and just get new ones like really random, but Facebook marketplace do be the one for just getting rid of your furniture and giving it to a new home. Um, so I'm going to vlog that for you guys and just show you like the little changes that I make here and there. They're not massive. Um, I live in a rented apartment, so I can't do too, too much, but just show you how I refresh. But anyway, that's what I, I got like a new candle. <laughs> Don't know how that was relevant, but it is. Um, what else did I get? Well, yes, I got some mini tortillas for my tacos. I'm going to like toast them slightly. Tomato puree, ran out of that. <laughs> Dishwasher tablets, does anyone care? No. Cucumber, need that for the, oh no, I've got a cucumber, but it's nearly at the end, but therefore I needed another cucumber. Bin bags. Also, I thought this is cute. I should have got some like proper pots for them. Oh, avocado, tacos. Um, I got the, oh no, I crushed it. Oh no, the avocado crushed my coriander. That'll be okay. Anyway, I thought I'd get my herbs in pots. I'll put them on like the windowsill over there. But I thought this is good because then I can just like keep, keep it up instead of buying like a packet of them and then they might go off like much quicker. How cute. Grown in West Sussex by John Benfield. Thanks John for my coriander and my fresh basil. Oh, I used to have a guinea pig called basil. RIP. Anyway spinach to make that avocado pesto i told you about the, the the singular carrots were all really odd and like half a carrot it was really weird so I, and i just kind of wanted like a, a, a medium-sized packet of carrots like it was either buy like a kilogram of carrots or buy individual carrots that all were just like not really like a full carrot so i got these imperator carrots like, what's the difference? I don't really know, but they look kind of cool. So I thought, I'll give them a go. I got kale. Again, the salad I'm about to have. So I'll keep that out. Prawns. Um, chicken. Red onion. Some ginger. And then again for the salad, red cabbage. Um, I tried to pick the smallest one because I feel like... I'm not gonna be using like a huge amount. And then yeah, that's the kitchen mold I had to get. 100% recycled, I wasn't mad about it, but it was the only, this was the only one left of a two. Weird. And just some loo roll for me ass. But yeah, not as big as a shop as I thought. Oh, I got some batteries as well if anyone cares. But um, not big as, not a, as big a shop as it appeared, like written down. But yeah, I'm gonna pop this all away and then I'm gonna make this Thai chicken salad with the peanut, uh, dressing and I will show you the finished result and let you know because if it's good then I will do a video on it or like maybe a TikTok. Remember what I said guys, let me know if I was to do a TikTok or like do like a cooking TikTok of like meals and stuff. Number one, the format of them, like how would you like me to do them? And two, what should my like TikTok account name be? Like Rach Cooks. I feel like that's really boring. I'll give 10 points to, the pa to a, a person that comes up with like a fun cooking vibes name for my like a username for my tiktok but um right yeah put this all away and i'm gonna make this salad fingers crossed it's as good as it looks because i've been thinking about this all day i'm not being funny i've had a little taste so good like really good obviously if you like see this is why i need salad spoons hang on you can't even see what i'm doing this is why i need salad spoons 
I'm trying to like, because I've made loads, okay? I can probably have this, um, oh my God, hopefully like tomorrow, I'll, I'll just keep snacking on it. But, oh my God, forgot how much I love peanut butter. Like, it's just so good. But I'm just gonna have about that much to start with. I'll just pop some cling film on this and have it later. It said to top with sesame seeds. It also said to top with uh, chopped peanuts, but I did not get them. But when I tell you, I'm gonna do a video on it. It's not my recipe. What's her name? That dressing is amazing. Her name is Bria Lem on TikTok. It's her Thai chicken salad. Uh, it's so good. When I do a video on it, I will link it properly if you really want to find it, if you don't look on your own. This is so yum. That dressing is insane. Right. I'm going to watch the rest of Harry Potter. Eat this. We're doing the cupboard. We've got to do that cupboard today. Right. Harry Potter finished. And I've told myself before I watch another one, let's do the cupboard. But I thought I'd show you some of the organizing that I did already. So that I did yesterday because I'm low key obsessed with it. This cupboard in particular, all right. So I basically went through like all of my cupboards and like got rid of, you know, stuff that was out of date that I didn't need. I feel like this looks like way more than it is. It's cause it's stacked on um, like one of those shelves. So it's just like all of my tea, coffee, hot chocolate that type of thing anything that needs to be stored in like a cool dark place so like i've got an avocado and like my potatoes and stuff in there these are my snacks I've just kind of like tried to keep all the healthier stuff um but this is the star of the show they're called like acrylic shoebox storage and i used to store all of my makeup in them and i did used to store cleaning products in them until yesterday gave them a clean and washed them out and now i found the dividers for them I store all of my pasta in them. So it's like a sweet shop, but for pasta. Um, you can find this on Amazon. And I found this, oh, that obviously I'd been I either bought or I'd been sent. So it's literally like I can scoop up the pasta and can be a bit more considerate with my portion sizes. But look, and then I got spare pasta in the back and some out the front there. But how cute is that? I feel like I've got a little tuck shop vibes um for my pasta so i just thought i'd show you guys this is what i'm dealing with like i'm stressed because i know like everyone is allowed to have a cupboard like this but because i want to get new towels and just like really see what i've got i literally like don't even know where to start right let's just like get these out, okay obviously my hoovers <laughs> Okay, let's move this out of the way. Right, that's one less thing to get out. My ironing board. <laughs> Sorry about that. And the good thing is, is that when I went to Tesco's earlier, I saw that they... <laughs> I saw that they had those Samaritan bins and one of them you can donate like textiles, like that kind of thing. So I thought, well, that's good. Um, cause I, I never want to like, I think that's what puts me off like clearing these things out cause I don't know what to do with the stuff that I don't want. Like, cause you can't really like, well, I, I don't know. I was going to say you can't really like donate towels, but maybe they just get recycled in those bins. I'm not really sure. Um, right. Well, let's see what I mean. Just like random textiles. So, geez Louise, <laughs> Drake, the type of guy to say, geez Louise. You know, you know. Let's get this out. God, the floor needs a hoover in there. And I actually need to mop my kitchen floor. It's a bit sticky after New Year's. We ended up spilling like loads of drink. Um, right, it's these towels that I'm just like, no, I'm like done with them. Not that one, I like that one. Okay. I need to cut, figure out why this like shelving unit is like tilting this way. It literally looks like it's about to fall and collapse. So, right, this is another thing I need to get out. Ugh. Oh my gosh. 
It was the mop, it's okay. Right. Oh, all oh, these sheets. What? Why is it telling me? I'm suddenly scared it's gonna fall on me. Do you know, I'm so glad I'm going through this cupboard because it's clearly a disaster waiting to happen. This is just chaos waiting to happen. Right, I'm gonna clear the rest of this crap out the cupboard. Right, so we've cleared everything out. I don't actually think this is what's the sl what's slanted. I think it's the flooring in there, which is, whoa, which is slightly bizarre. But anyway, first things first, we're gonna hoover the floor and wipe the surfaces because they're looking pretty gross. Guys, the camera is charged, but we have finished. I know it still kind of looks a mess, but you know when it's like organized mess? Let me just move the ironing board out of the way. I feel like that's, that's what's in the way. Look, all of my sheets and stuff I've kept that are in there. So I actually don't have that many anymore. So maybe I'll treat myself to some John Lewis ones tomorrow. Um, but we've got my, look, I took the Christmas tree down and I actually have room to keep and reuse Christmas stuff because Last year, I had to just bin it, really. It was a bit of a shame. I had nowhere to keep it. And obviously, you know, I was meant to have my Christmas dinner party. That didn't end up happening because a few people got ill. Like, we've postponed it, so maybe we'll have a belated Christmas dinner and I'll just reuse that stuff then. Um, but yeah, also, I'm keeping my canned water in here. Guys, this is your sign. It's only canned water from now on, okay? Because cans recycle forever. Fuck the plastic bottles. Canned water, so good. I'm actually gonna take one to have with my dinner. Um, but yes, we have managed to get organized. Look at that, so much better. Right, this um, this tracksuit is from Sisters and Seekers. It's like gray corduroy. It's like one of those like smart tracksuits, you know? But let me just open me water. Cheers, I'm doing dry jam, by the way. So it's cans of water for me, but I'm now gonna make some dinner. I'm literally reheating some salmon from yesterday, but I am gonna make some avocado pesto and have a little bit of pasta on the side and maybe a little bit of broccoli as well. That reminds me, let's put the oven on. I'm not sure the best way to uh, reheat salmon. Is it all right in the microwave or is it better in the oven? I've got the oven on anyway for the broccoli, but um, I'm gonna have to Google that. Anyways, so yeah, I will let you know if the avocado pesto is good. Obviously, I'm allergic to nuts, so I saw this recipe on TikTok again by the same girl that I used um, the Thai chicken salad for earlier, and it sounds really good. So I will let you know if it's good, and if so, again, I will share the recipe with you in a future video. And then I'm going to treat myself to Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. How am I there already? So, I yeah, I finished... Half Blood Prince earlier, Death of the Hallows part one, and then I feel like this video is already really long, but we've got day two of productivity tomorrow. It's actually not necessarily the most productive day tomorrow, but I'm gonna go to the gym again for one, and then I'm gonna go to Trafford Center, and I really just wanna show you like all the bits that I get, because I feel like it's gonna be like a nice haul tomorrow, like a good haul. Well, fingers crossed, anyway, I told you at the beginning of the video the stuff that I wanted to get, but yeah. Very productive day. Um, so let me just cook this dinner and I'll show you what it looks like. Guys, I'm not being funny. That, I mean all of it together really, is absolutely delicious. That avocado pesto, so good. Oh my fuck! I forgot to put basil in it! Oh, that's like the most important ingredient. I knew something was missing. Okay, but either way, really good. Um, even without the basil. Damn it. Next time I cook it, I will do basil and I'm sure it will be 10 times better. Um, and I'll do that in the cooking video, but even that on its own is really good. So that had everything in it but basil and I'll share the recipe with you guys soon. But it is on that girl's TikTok that I spoke about earlier. But this is gonna be absolutely delicious. Thought I'd just show you my setup before I get into this. Candles, got my little sunset lamp, really just sets the vibe for my evening. Hey, I'm in bed, end of day one. Felt very productive today, and I feel like there's nothing better than going to bed feeling accomplished, and I don't know, like you had a productive day. But what I am trying to do is not go on my phone as much before bed. And as I said earlier, sorry, the light's really bad, because this is terrifying. 
So I'm trying to like have good light to speak to you guys, but it not be shiny in my face. Is that better? I don't really know. Anyway, like I said, I'm trying not to go on my phone as much right before bed. I feel like it really like makes falling asleep very difficult for me and I already struggle as it is uh, to fall asleep. So like I said at the beginning, one of my things was to read more. So I feel like I'm gonna read a few pages of the book that I got that I wanted to read. I've seen it on TikTok. It ends with us. Not really seen what it's about. I've just seen people hyped about it. I saw Kendall Jenner was reading it and everyone was like, oh, she reads that book. So I feel like I need to join the club and I need to be in the know. Um, so yeah, I feel like it's something to do with relationships. The reviews are like, you'll be smiling through the tears. I've literally just cried over Harry Potter. Deathly Hallows part one, the ending. If you know, you know. Can't cry again. And but yeah, for like a few pages before bed, it's going to be more beneficial for me than like <laughs> an hour on TikTok, which is probably what I would usually do. I'll see if it makes a difference. But yeah, day two tomorrow, I'm going to go to the gym. Um, but I feel like I, I won't sort of vlog there because I feel like my 20 minute intro has really taken up a huge chunk of this video. Um, so I will vlog probably next time you'll see me. I'll have a bit of a face on and we're going to be going shopping. I'm really excited for this shop. I'm in the mood to be a bit spendy. I feel like they're all really things that I want and need and not like a, a perch that I'm going to be like, I, I didn't need that. Like I've like, I've created this list and I'm really excited to show you what I get. So I'll see you then. Morning. I know I said next time you probably see me, I'll be looking a bit more glam about to go shopping, but I just thought I'd let you know it is such a gorgeous day outside today that I'm going to go for a walk today instead. I'm going to walk to this park that I like do a lap, maybe sit down. Maybe I'll watch a bit of Harry Potter at the park. Is that, is that a bit weird? And then walk back. And I've done that walk before. And usually it's near about enough, 10,000 steps. Um, it's, it's, it's just gone 10 a.m. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get my steps in today. And then I'm going to be doing shopping. So I feel like it'll be even more steps. But just to make sure I lock in that 10,000 this morning. Fit check. I'm wearing the red Adenola t-shirt and leggings. And just, I don't really know like what these Air Forces are, but they're really supportive. Um, so I quite like walking in them. And then I've got this Teddy, uh, Teddy coat, cause it's still a bit fresh outside. It's literally my favorite weather outside. It's sunny, but it's fresh. Um, and this is from Misguided. Back home now, looking a little bit more presentable. I completely forgot to like, vlog anything at the park but it's because I literally wasn't really on my phone I put a podcast in put my phone in my pocket and just walked like one video that I took because I can talk to squirrels guys it's weird like they really respond to me but anyway ah, I'm off to the Trafford Centre now I'm probably not gonna vlog there because I'm going to like John Lewis Selfridges and I feel like the staff might be like Excuse me, what are you filming? But I feel like the next thing you're gonna see is the haul and I'm praying that I get the things that I want and we have a good haul, like I'm in the mood to, yeah, really like treat myself and get some bits. But they're all bits that I like need and like want. So fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, time to shop. Guess who's back and send a bit of shopping. Me. Um, Didn't manage to get everything that I wanted, but it's okay, like, You'd think, today's Tuesday, okay, it's not a bank holiday anymore. It's the first day everyone was back at work. I thought I was doing the right thing, going shopping today. But it would you would have thought it was a Saturday because of how busy it was. Um, and also, this is where I've gone wrong. Everything is still, like, in the sales. So, like, I went to John Lewis and it, it was just all a bit, like, of a mess. You know, sometimes when it, and, like, Zara, not that I bought anything from Zara, I walked past it and I was like... I'm not even gonna go in there because it's just all sales stuff and like, God love a sale, but I only really like sales online <laughs> for exactly that reason that like you go into the shop and it's just chaos. Like everything's a bit of a mess. It's not what you thought it would be. Like labels everywhere. Like it was kind of the same in John Lewis, even in like the cooking section, which was a bit annoying. But I did manage to get some cute little beats that I wanted to share with you and then I also got inspiration and like realized things as I was shopping. Like for example, I wanted to get like a recipe book. 
I went into Selfridges, John Lewis, Waterstones, WH Smith, and I kind of realized, is it a recipe book that I want? Like, well, they actually just had cookbooks, and I think it's just recipes and pictures somehow that I just want and I know you're probably thinking is that not what a cookbook is some of them know they were just really thick all words which like I'm a very visual person that I kind of need to see it or like at least even just like an end result picture or something so I'm gonna have a look online but I did order this on Amazon which is salad dressing recipes which I'm very excited about. Um, let me know if you want me to link these things down below, like blue cheese salad dressing. And you see, it's just a list and a picture. Even though this one's black and white, like this is the kind of thing that I need. And I think it's an Italian recipe book that I want. Or like something that has Italian cuisine like within it. I don't know, if you guys have any cookbook recommendations that sound sort of like what I'm talking about, let me know, otherwise I feel like I'm just gonna have to stick to TikToks and maybe buying an empty recipe book and writing them down myself or something. So that arrived. Um, also something else that arrived, again, I keep seeing them on TikTok, like a lemon squeezer. And this is like a proper like metal one. And I like that it's yellow. So I got that. And then also I'm slowly, as you'll see, I think I mentioned at the beginning of the video that I will do another video of like the new furniture bits I'm getting, like I'm just revamping my living room space a little bit and my dining area. And I'm gonna introduce a little bit of like soft pink into the mix. And I've got some like coffee table books, but I just kind of needed like a small one to go on the top. They're all quite big. And I thought this is perfect. Number one, it's Dior because my other ones are like classic. Um, I've got a Playboy one, I've got Chanel, that kind of vibe and they're all very black and white. I was like, this is so cute. Number one, it's really small small and thin and two it's like a really nice soft pink and I was like this is this is great like it's just a little touch of like soft pink which I'm going to be introducing into my decor I want my I want my rooms because my bedroom's like this it's all very cream and baby pink in my bedroom and it just makes me feel so like I don't know like I'm just in like a cozy marshmallow like I feel like I'm in a small you know like when I'm going to bed because everything's like pink and cream and I do love that my living room is kind of like cream um but it's kind of like cream brown and black like all the hardware is black which i don't mind but instead of brown i kind of want pink i'm not really sure i just yeah i want to switch things up in here and i just know i i like the soft pink vibe to my bedroom and i kind of want to bring some color into this sort of living space because i'm here literally all the time speaking of which um, i went in to selfridges and returned some skim stuff and because i'd ordered them in the sale online they were like oh we can only give you your money back on a gift card and i was like okay like i love gift cards because it makes me feel like it's free money even though i i spent the money on the skim stuff and they've just given it back to me so you know it's not free money anyway i wandered around a little bit because i was like what i may as well just have a little look around while i'm here you know see what they've got and oh, I love it so I went to this little shop called Anna and Nina it looks like this um look at this candlestick holder uh if you've seen kind of like what I post on Instagram of, of my sitting room currently I've always got candles on I literally didn't I say I literally just bought one from Tesco um but I just love candles and I'm getting a new tv you know and I kind of just wanted some like shape and dimensions going on and I don't know if you can tell me it's like a, again it's a muted pink um bubble candlestick holder and it is 20 pounds I don't want to like knock that over I'm gonna put that over there and then all of these little candlesticks were two pounds fifty each again muted pink um soft brown I know I just said I don't want brown in my living room but um, I don't mind soft brown, it's because I've got a bit of like dark brown, do you know what I mean? Um, and I just want things to be like soft and light in here. So it'll look like this. Mother of... She's alright. Don't need to like melt the bottom of that. But you get the vibes. How cute! I don't to knock that. And I got two of each because I burned them down pretty, pretty quick. But yeah, and they were £2.50 each. I already had ones like that, very similar, 
in my Etsy basket and then I saw that shop there and I was like, oh, I'll just get them here. And then, oh, very excited about this. Um, a couple of other things I got from Selfridges. Did I mention earlier that they've got truff in Selfridges now, which is like truffle flavored hot sauce. I don't know if they do other truffle stuff, but they just have the hot sauce there. And I was like, I'm gonna get it. And then I realized they had loads of truffle things there. And I love truffles. But anyway, very bougie, just for like, and it was, it was like 35 quid. But again, I used the gift card, all right? So it, it technically doesn't count. Whoa, look at the price. It's like an award. I would like to thank my mother and my father. But, oh, wow, okay. So it's white truffle infused hot sauce. This sounds literally insane. I kind of want to keep it like in this. Well, I'll do that for now. But doesn't that sound good? And then this, this was 11 pounds, all right? And it's tiny. Gift card. Anyway, it is white truffle honey. I'm just imagining this with like camembert sourdough or like on avocado toast. I just saw this and was like, well, I'm getting it. <laughs> I've never had truffle honey before, but it sounds so fucking nice. Um, so that's everything that I got from Selfridges. And then I think I said that I wanted to look for a journal. Again, I think it's gonna have to be one of those things that I searched for online. There was just loads of diaries everywhere. And I really just wanted a journal that kind of had like list sections and like, I don't know, like categories and stuff, like not like just Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, like, do you know what I mean? Like that sort of thing. That's not what I'm after. If you guys have got like a good journal recommendation, let me know. Otherwise I'm just gonna search on Google or something. But what I did get was pens. I got some pastel highlighters cause I thought, I'm really just, I'm feeling the pastel vibes at the moment. They just make me feel all calm and girly, I don't know. And then I got some three handwriting pens. Um, I, ideal for children learning to write, that's me. And uh, now nah, it's got like a fine tip, which I really like. I feel like they're like gel pen like. I feel like they just write better, you know? So I got some pens anyway, ahead of the journal writing. Um, what else did I get? Oh yes, let's move on to Mr. John Lewis. Um, a little bit disappointed in John Lewis, I'm not gonna lie. Like I said, it was just a bit messy, but again, I think I just, I had things in mind and it's not like they didn't have it, sort of like other things very similar. I just didn't want to settle just cause I was there. Cause I feel like I'll, I'll have a look online and find what I'm actually looking for. And um, I got one of these, a uh, La Crusette mug. Um, my, this just reminds me of my mum at home. She has started phasing out her old mugs and they're all these. <laughs> she's a <laughs> she does like to treat herself in the kitchen I'm not gonna lie um so I just thought this would be a little reminder of home if I'm having my tea or coffee or something and um, how much is it per mug did she put the receipt in I think it's something stupid you guys like I only bought it because I was like oh mum like I said mug 15 pounds for a mug who's the mug now but um, you tweet that, I was looking at the pink, uh, am I saying it right? The La Crusette, uh, like pans, I was looking at them and they had this like little like thin dish sort of like, it was like a frying pan, but without the handle, it just had the other handles, <laughs> you know what I mean? It had like gripping handles rather than the long thin, thing, you know? And I was like, oh my God, that's cute. Like I wanted to get a new frying pan anyway. I've got two frying pans in there that are just like, Ugh. well, one's all right, one needs to go. And I bought the replacement, but I was looking at that one and I was like, this is cute. I saw someone on TikTok. Why is everything about TikTok? But I saw someone with a pink, I'm guessing it was the La Crusette dish that I was literally looking at and cooking in it, 119 pounds for that pan dish thing which was like this big with handles. I was like, are you fucking joking? <laughs> Put that back, thank you. Anyway, but I got the mug. Anyway, <gasps> guys, look what I got. I'm gonna be Emily Marie Co. 
if I can get into it. <gasps> Yay! You guys know I've been sort of like prepping veg. I'm still doing that, by the way. Washing, I'm getting really into, not that I, I, I really should have done this a long time ago, but really into like washing and prepping my veg. So I got a salad spinner. <laughs> Why is it so exciting? I saw it and I was like, oh, it's the perfect size because my mum's got one at home, but it's huge. And I was thinking, I haven't got room for a big one like that. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, look. I love it. I think I said earlier that I was looking for a salad bowl. I think I've got in mind just like, you know, one of those, um, I always see them when I'm in Portugal. So just sort of like European, handmade, really gorgeously, like obviously like hand painted, like salad bowls. I feel like my mum's got some. And I, like, I think that's the vibe that I want. So obviously I didn't have that in John Lewis. So I would love to like find one or maybe buy one from like an independent shop or something. Maybe I'll wait till I go abroad and actually buy one. But then it's just about taking it back bit nervous anyway but i did want wooden salad spoons and they had these and last but oh no actually a couple more things like i said bought myself a new frying pan 28 centimeter non-stick frying pan my mum how many times i want to talk about my mum in this video my mum got me um <laughs> i think it's because she saw my pans maybe like they're just Ikea ones, absolutely nothing wrong with Ikea pans, like, do you know what I mean? But I was just talking to her about how I really wanted to get into cooking and stuff, and then when it came to asking for what I wanted for Christmas, I said, like, you know, maybe I actually should get some better pans um, for all the cooking that I want to do. So she actually got me John Lewis pans for Christmas. They're all right in terms of the price, you know. I think this one was... 55 pounds i think that's that's all right that's an invest like it's a little investment but they're literally maximum life scratch resistant best performance platinum plus so i thought i'll get the matching also really disappointed with the bed sheet selection in john lewis it wasn't good but i have realized that i do really like brushed cotton sheets they're they're warm and cozy and I like that. So maybe I'll just search online for some brushed cotton. I would have got it at John Lewis because I saw it. I was like, love these. All they had was single, double, and super king. Whereas my bed is just a king. And I need deep fitted sheets. And they did not have them. So I'm going to have to really custom search that one. But what I did get was luxury spa cotton bath towels. <gasps> oh my gosh. These are really soft and snuggly. And I got two of these in cream. Hands up, who's gonna make these dirty, baby? With their tan. Probably me, I'll never learn because white towels are the best. Don't know if I said, by the way, this top is from Misguided, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like it was a fucking long one. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. First one back, I feel like, it needed to be a long one. A lot to tell you, a lot to catch up on. Um, I've planned a good, like, my first six videos back, and I'm so excited to film all of them. Just sort of, yeah, really comforting type videos. That's kind of what I'm going for for 2022. I want to keep it real, keep you updated, just take you along life with me. Like, let's do life together this year, guys. That's what I'm feeling. Um, let me know suggestions down below. What did I want suggestions on? Journals, cookbooks with like easy sort of recipes, Italian vibes, names for a cooking TikTok username. Um, I'll give you guys full credit if I use one. Um, can't remember anything else. But yeah, it's been a long one. It's been two days worth of footage, so. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm very excited for 2022. Let's be productive. Let's refresh. Actually, do you know what? You don't have to refresh. Spend the year how you want to spend the year. But if you're if you're feeling the same sort of vibes as me, um, I hope this inspired you in some way. Not that you have to go shopping to do that, but you know, maybe if it's to just take up a hobby, get into cooking as well, treat yourself to, or like upgrade your utensils. You know? But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.